With Amphibia Season 3 just one week away on the dot, it's only fair that a proper promo for the season is finally released to the public. Albeit only a 30 second one, but nonetheless, it's got never before seen footage from the upcoming episode, so let's get started. The promo opens up with Anne and the planners on top of the same car they landed on at the end of True Colors, with Anne exclaiming, I'm home. Meaning this could be the very first scene and or the line from the first episode of the season, aka the new normal. The next clip is also from the first episode and is a scene that was part of the season 3 sneak peek shown at this year's Comic Con from home, basically Sprig and the planners introducing themselves to Anne's parents in the most otherworldly way possible. Of course, it was unintentional, but they couldn't have made them more freaked out with an intro like that. <laughs> Here we see Polly showing off more of her Sonic-like movements by quite literally doing a spin dash as a way to play with Anne's cat Domino. The Sonic references in the show never get old. And judging by the background of the scene, it looks like the two of them are inside the main area of the Boon Choi family restaurant, also known as Taigo. With that being the case, this would likely be taking place in the episode Thai Feud, which is an episode centered around the Boon Choi restaurant and a food truck that's threatening their business. Here we see Anne getting ready for the day by brushing her teeth, and for whatever reason, her mother was waiting for her in the bathroom with Anne's toothbrush, which justifiably freaks Anne out. Part of me thinks this is her overprotective nature kicking in, considering she hadn't seen her daughter in months and expected the worst could have happened to her. She wants to make sure she never loses her for that long ever again. Even if it means making sure Anne just brushes her teeth in the morning, she wants to be there. Which I can definitely understand to a degree, but Mrs. Boon Choi is going to have to learn that Anne became a lot more independent after being an amphibia for so long. Definitely more reliable than the average 13-year-old now. Next, a cute little Sprig turning his body around like an owl. I, I love that kitten mask he's got on too, you know. Sprig knows the pandemic ain't over yet. I have a hunch this takes place in the episode Hop Till You Drop. You know, just a hunch, nothing more. Here we see Hop Pop in his human disguise enjoying some delicious Earth cuisine, perhaps food from Taigo. Part of me also thinks this could be different food from the mall though because of all the pastries in the background. Like he's sitting at a food court table and that's what's behind him. But that's a bit of a reach, so I think it's more likely he's at Taigo and they just sell desserts too. Finally, after all these months, Anne finally has cell phone service again. 5G service to boot. How fitting that the following clip would be Anne showing Spring and Hot Pop the wonders of the internet. Truly a blessing and a curse. The 5G clip is definitely from the new normal since Anne's still wearing her amphibia attire, but the internet one could be from a different episode unless Anne begins sporting her new fit within the same episode if it takes place across more than a day. After that, we see Mr. Boon Choi trying to go to the bathroom only to find the planter family flooding his bathtub. And these degenerates don't have a care in the world. They're in their element right now. <laughs> And I'm willing to bet this is also taking place in the new normal. A quick shot of Anne getting shocked by something, followed by Sprig putting a hoodie on. I feel like he's doing this while at the mall, trying to find some new fits. Once again, at the mall from the episode Hop Till You Drop with Polly inside Amphibia's version of Build-A-Bear, tackling a toddler for ripping a creation in half. Here we see the planners trying on clothes, presumably taking place before they go out in a public setting for the first time. Hop Pop very proud of how he looks in those fisherman overalls. In this scene, we see Anne using some of her calamity powers to fight the lanky Frobor that Andrew has sent after her in a freezer of some kind, and we can see Anne is only concentrating her powers into her left fist rather than her entire body. I know I've made countless anime references to compare her powers to, but the more I see it, the more it reminds me of Deku from My Hero Academia's One for All power. Specifically, only using a percentage of it as well as in specific parts of your body as to not go overboard so you won't injure or exhaust yourself. What's interesting here is we see the lanky Frobo again, but with a different design, as if someone fixed him up using junkyard parts or something like that. So I have to wonder, do both these scenes take place in the episode and Sterminator, which has a synopsis of a dangerous enemy finally locates Anne and the planners, or could this be referring to another dangerous enemy? Maybe Andreas himself? But I feel like it'd be too early for him to pull up to Earth within the first five episodes of the season. It could also be the giant Frobo that was shown in the season three opening. We'll, we'll see though. Also, shout out to Mr. Boonjoy for evading that thing on the highway so well. More driving, only this time Anne is behind the wheel? Is, is that allowed? <laughs> she and Sprig are screaming, which means they're probably getting chased by someone else. I'm willing to bet it to that food truck that's supposed to appear in Thai Feud that's chasing them, and Anne's driving her family's truck. Next, we get a shot I'm sure everyone has seen by now, Anne destroying some Frobo in her full calamity form towards the end of the season 3 opening, followed by Anne and the planners looking exhausted after destroying some robot dragonflies, which were briefly teased in the season 3 opening as well. In that tease, they were shown flying over a temple, and they were defeated around what looks like a temple, so you bet your bottom dollar this is taking place in the episode Temple Frogs. Another shot of Anne and the planners on their way to Anne's parents, once again a scene that was in the Comic-Con at home clip. Then we see Hop-Hop being cheered on by some 
some humans. Considering both of these people are wearing the exact same outfits, I feel like they're employees for the Taigo restaurant. Maybe Anne's relatives. I think that'd be cool. The promo ends with Anne, Sprig, and Hot Pop dancing in a crater with some destroyed rubble and Mr. Bonjoy freaking out over the damage. It looks like Sprig is standing on top of a washing machine too. I wonder what they were doing at night that caused this. The rubble in the ditch doesn't match either of the lanky Frobo designs, so what could it have been? Hmm. Let me know in the comments down below if there's anything I might have missed that was shown in this promo or if you have any other ideas when it comes to the context of these clips that I didn't already mention. I'd love to know your thoughts. And don't worry, I did see the full trailer was released. That will be going out tomorrow because that was released while I was in the middle of working on this video. So just be patient. <laughs> per usual, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like down below. It helps out a ton. But for now, I will see you guys next time. Peace out. Take care. Bye-bye.